Hi, I'm Dr. Rajdeep. I'm a dermatologist and a dermato surgeon, and I practice at Chirag Hospital in Bangalore. All of us suffer very commonly from round, itchy patches, and that is the reason we seek a dermatologist consultation. Now, what could be the cause for these round, itchy patches? In general, the three most common diseases causing round, itchy patches are a fungal infection. Uh, or an eczema or an allergy called as urticaria fungal infections are usually found in covered areas like the groin private areas where sweating is common and the fungus is easily able to grow so fungal infections can be treated very well and usually do not recur if you follow uh, precautions like wearing dry clothes sun dried clothes and changing your undergarments frequently if you sweat a lot Coming to the second most common cause of round itchy patches, this is called as an eczema. What is an eczema? You might have heard this word many times by dermatologists. Eczema is a general skin allergy where certain chemicals are produced in the blood causing a, a round patch with oozing. There is some watery material oozing and the patient experiences a lot of itching. So, eczemas are related very commonly to external uh, things like dust, pollution and internal factors like uh, stress. So most common cause for people with eczema is they have a lot of stressful life. Also eczemas run in the family. That means if you have an eczema, your parents or aunts and uncles might also be suffering from an eczema which is passed down to you. Eczemas can also be completely kept under control although they are very uh, frequently recurring. So they require a good follow up with a dermatologist. The third most commonest uh, cause of round itchy patches is a temporary elevation of the skin which becomes red and round called as urticaria. Urticaria is a very common allergy and as our textbooks say they can be caused by anything under the sun including the sun itself. So anything can cause urticaria from food, dust, hot water, cold water, clothes, mosquitoes and so many other causes. So first thing when we see a patient with urticaria, we try to ask them what caused the urticaria and we try to find out the cause for it and eliminate that cause if possible. In some cases, about 20% of the people, it becomes a long term disease that is they keep getting it on and off. We call that as a chronic urticaria. In chronic urticaria, there are very safe medicines like antihistamines which the patient can use for a long time and be completely free from the disease. And in, uh, currently, new medicines are being developed which directly target only the cells causing urticaria and thus have no side effects. But these new medicines are also expensive.